everyone, this is Caroline, one of the scientific editors at the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Centre. I'm going to tell you about our free access structure service. So at the start of this story is scientific researchers who deposit their crystallographic data sets with the CCDC. Then we add some extra details like bibliographic details, chemical text, chemical structural data and the results of crystal structure validation and create our database, the CSD. Users like you can then view and download each individual structure and the associated data using our free service called Access Structures. I'm going to show you how to search for chemical compounds using Access Structures and give you some extra tips too. So firstly, let's get to the web page. I'm starting with a Google search for Access Structures. Here you can see it's the first hit with the web address of www.ccdc.cam.ac.uk forward slash structures. So here's our search. I'm going to show you a simple text search for aspirin. Into the compound name box, I'm going to type aspirin and away we go. On this results page, you can see the first 30 results for any structures that have the word aspirin in their compound name. I would like to see more information for the compound with the ref code ACSALA because I can see from the compound name that this is pure aspirin rather than a derivative. Now I can see more details about aspirin. The number the data set was given at deposition, the deposition number, the compound name, the crystallographic details, the space group, and the unit cell measurements. The structure can be visualized here in the 3D viewer. There are lots of settings to play with here. So you can visualize it exactly how you would like it visualized. You can see the 2D chemical diagram, any potential synonyms, and the associated publication details, along with more chemical information. So now I'm going to show you a second method of searching, this time using publication details. So I would like to see some of the crystal structures that have been published in the Journal of American Chemical Society this year. So into the publication search box, and type in Journal of the American Chemical Society and into the publication details year search box I'm typing 2018. So here's the first 30 results for the crystal structures that have been published in JAX. You can scroll through the results pages using the previous and next buttons at the bottom of the web page. So what if you already have a publication with crystal structures in it that you want to search for such as this example here. You can copy the DOI from the paper and enter this into the DOI search box. Then you'll see the results of all the crystal structures that are in that paper. Here there are two, which is in line with what's reported in this paper. So if you have no results, when you search for something, we will still try our best to find the data for you. You can fill in this manual form and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Now time for an extra tip. We have created a subset of the CSD called the teaching subset. This subset contains structures we think are useful for teaching different topics of chemistry. So into the compound name search box, it is possible to get results from entering the words teaching subset. So I'm going to do this now. So here you can see the first page of results. The first structure here we think is useful for teaching a fundamental aspect of chemistry. And the second structure you can see we think would be good for teaching some symmetry concepts. So that's all I have time to show you today about access structures. If you have any questions, please visit our support page to submit them. We're always excited to help new users get the best experience they can. Happy searching!